Let thanks and praises be given to our God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor be given to our Father, leader, Lumba, Lumba, Ubu, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor, dominion and adoration ever be thine for now and evermore holy 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 lord god almighty most merciful father most compassionate father and the most righteous Father. Father, here we are, thy sinful children. Father, we have come once again before thy throne of mercy. Father, we have come knowing fully well that we've sinned against the Father. Father, we've done so many unseeming things. We lie, we cheat, Father. We don't even put your words into practice. We've sinned against the Father with our entire bodies, but we've sinned against it through our thoughts, actions, and utterances. Father, we are not worthy to be called their children. But we thank you, dear Father, for indeed you are not like man, for you have said that even though our sins be read as crimson, and that whenever we come to thee with penitent heart, confessing all our wrongdoings, Father, he did promise to take us back. Amen. Father, here we are, still on our bended knees, still begging and pleading, Father, for it was for this same reason that you sent your only begotten Son to come and die for the remission of all our sins. Father, we thank you so much, Father, for indeed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary has washed us clean, both in our bodies, and our souls. Father, say the thanks and praise be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for all the patience. Thank you also for showing mercy. Through showing mercy, you've given each and every one of us a second chance. A second chance to be good children unto thee. A second chance to always put thee first in everything that we do. A second chance to do thy work the way it is supposed to be done. A second chance to always speak the truth and practice righteousness so that it do be well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, dear Father, for all the wonderful things you've been doing in our midst. We thank you for daily care, daily protection. Thank you for being the only provider for your children. Thank you also for being the greatest doctor in our midst. We thank you most sincerely, Father, for healing all our sicknesses. No matter the nature and the duration of the sickness, just by believing and trusting in the Father, you've taken away all our sicknesses, all our infirmities, and afflictions here and there. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Father, for through your coming, you've gathered all your children the world over. Thank you for putting all things into ship shape order for your children. Where we don't have to envy, quarrel, or fight over. For indeed, Father, you are just enough for each and every one of us. Father, say the thanks and praise be given to thee. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father, your children have come this morning seeking thy face. Thank you for not turning your back on us. For it was in the morning like this, Father, that they did bless your son, Jacob. Thank you for blessing the rest of us. Thank you for taking away sorrows, lamentation, weeping, promise and fail. Fear of the unknown. You have removed all of them from us. And return, you've given us the Holy Spirit to always lead us aright and also lead us to the accurate knowledge of the truth so that in the end the glory and honor 
will continue to be dying in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the Christ ambassadors. Father, today is your grand finale. Thank you, Father, for using this occasion to bless all of them. Thank you, Father, for using this occasion, Father, to transform each and every one of them unto thyself. For they say, child must resemble his father. Thank you for making them to resemble thee. And also to imbibe thy ways. Father, Selethines and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, what can we say? What can we do? Father, on our own, we can do nothing. That is why we look up to thee for everything. And thank you for being everything for us. Thank you for constantly fighting all our secret and open wars for us. Thank you for being an all-conquering God. We have indeed conquered for all your true children. Father, with your all-seeing eyes, you've seen all our situations. Thank you for changing all bad situations into good situations. As for our already good situation, Father, thank you for making them to be the best situation. And thank you for finally taking dominion over your entire children. Father, no matter where they are right now in the world, as long as they believe in thee, and they love thee more than anything else, and they also love their brethren, and they have also surrendered completely into thy care by putting all your injunctions into practice, Thank you, dear Father, for giving them all what to testify about thy holy name. Father, I love us so much. You care for us so much. Father, you don't just want us to perish. That's why daily keep teaching us to have love one for another. Thank you for always admonishing us to always do good so that only good things will follow us wherever we go. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear Father, your children have come this morning for several reasons. Whatever be their reason, just by believing and trusting in the Father, you have solved all their problems. Amen. Thank you, Father, for letting thy light to shine upon each and every one of us. All those who believe in thee, all those who love thee more than anything else, all those who believe truly that you are their father and them their son. Thank you for letting their light to shine. Thank you for spreading thy wings of love, thy wings of peace over them. Wherever they go, you go with them. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you finally, Father, for redeeming each and every one of us unto thyself. For they say child must resemble his father. Thank you, Father, for making us to resemble thee and also to imbibe thy ways so that all will be perfectly well with us for now and uh, evermore. The times praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let them praises be given to the one and only mighty, mighty God in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let all thanks, all praises, all honor, all wisdom, all power, all authority and supremacy be given to thee and thee alone. For now and evermore. Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. Our first Bible lesson was drawn from Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5, from verse 14 to 16. Here are the lights of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. May the Lord bless his holy word. Matthew chapter 20, verse 26. Our second Bible reading is drawn from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 20, verse 26. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. May God bless his holy words. 
Uh, golden text is taken from Matthew chapter 23 verse 11 our golden text is taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 23 from verse 11 but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant may the Lord bless his holy words I have seen the light. I 
go straight to our first Bible reading. Our first Bible lesson was drawn from Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5 from verse 14 to 16. Here are the lights of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. May the Lord bless his holy word. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit. I'm sure you've all heard the spirit of chorus. And that uh, section of the Bible has also confirmed it. That you are the light of the world. Mm. Are you the light of the world? Eh. What does the light do? It shines, right? Especially when it's put on top of a mountain or on top of a hill. Passers by will see their way and move freely so that they will not hit their legs or their foot. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And how many of you have covered this light? So that other people would not see this light. If truly you are the light, then you must let the world to see. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you know, the entire world is in darkness. Moses came. There was darkness Abraham came darkness even John the Baptist came darkness continued until our Lord Jesus Christ came he brought us this light and if we declare and say that we are followers of our Lord Jesus Christ that we believe in him that we love him and that we are obedient to him, then we must let our light to shine so that others can see this light and emulate and copy the light and use it to attract other people to this same light in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sure you remember that spiritual chorus that you should sing about light, that his light is our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope your own light is our Lord Jesus Christ. So, eh? I hope your light is our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about this electric light. Oh. Remember, our Lord Jesus Christ is the way. He is the light. He is the truth. He is everything for us. 
In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So how is your light? Huh? How does your light look like? Is your light working? Do you have any light? How is your light? Is your light shining? How many people are emulating your light? As a light, if you tell lies, does your light shine? As if you tell lies, does your light shine? Huh? If you play wickedness, does your light shine? So you see, this light, what does it mean? The light means love, means peace, means oneness, means humility. All the heavenly virtues is this light. And our Lord Jesus Christ brought this light to us so that we will imbibe this light and live and prosper. Most of us, we cannot prosper because our light is not shining. We commit sin, commit evil, commit all kinds of wickedness. Then how do you expect your light to shine? Who will emulate you? Who will copy you? Who will follow you? Our Lord Jesus Christ came. Have you ever heard that he quarreled with anybody? Huh? Have you ever heard? Have you ever heard that he abused anybody? Did you hear that he slapped anybody? But you are here, follower of our Lord Jesus Christ, doing all the things that he did not do. Are you a true follower? If you are a true follower, you must do the things that he did in order for you to be blessed. I have fufu, right? I don't have soup. Hmm? And you have soup. You don't have fufu. What must you do? Do you have to kill for the fufu in order to eat your soup? Do you have to fight? Because that's what people do. You don't have this. And you see somebody having it. He said the best thing is to kill that person in order to inherit that thing. Is that what our Lord Jesus Christ brought for us? Is that what he came for? He likes something. He said you to go to that person and say, I like this thing. You want to kill that person. So that you take, take over the thing. Is that not what is happening? As is that not what is happening? He taught us to love. He brought love for us. He taught us to oneness. He knew how to work with the poor, the needy, and the rich. He did not segregate. But today, don't you segregate. I belong to this church. I belong to that church. Which one is which? If you call on the name of God, if you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, then you don't have to segregate. You don't have to cause division. You don't have to hate. Because you see the hatred going on. Even amongst churches. My church is better than the other church. Not to even mention brotherhood. When you mention brotherhood, they say, Oh, brotherhood, don't go there. Oh. They worship man. It's a cult. They drink blood. They do all kinds of things so that people will not look at brotherhood. But the cult people, are they not still culting? Don't they see them? Our Lord Jesus Christ came. And he sat in a round table ate with his disciple from one plate and they would drink from one cup. Have you imbibed that? Have you imbibed that? Your own, you will segregate because you are a big man. You sit on the high table. The rest will sit on the low table. Huh? Or even sit on the floor. Is that what you were taught? 
In this kingdom, your pew does not matter. There must be equality. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught us equality. He said we are all one. One brethren. From the same father. When once you start segregating, causing division, this one is better than this one. This one is greater than this one. What are you doing? Are you worshipping God? See now, when they wanted to kill him, could they identify him? They could not. Because they were wearing the same attire. When he was walking with the disciple, could they identify him? They did not know him. Because of oneness. He was one with his disciple. Eh. If it were you, being the head, <laughs> I know nobody will find difficulty in locating you. Because he was wearing the same thing, dressing like them, moving like them. And I saw those who were looking for him could not know him. They could not identify him. Remember, that's when Judas Iscariot came in to show them who he was. Is it not simplicity? Your own, when once you make a head of a group, you want to show that you are the head. Anybody walking who would identify you immediately will know, oh, that's the man who is in charge. That is why the scripture tells us that he was humble. Humble even unto his death. This is a man who had power. He can turn you into anything he wants. He could have turned the soldiers into stones. <laughs> and they would not touch him. They would not even see him. But because he was humble. How many of us here are humble? How many of us think of the good of the other? But we always want good things to come to only us. We want lion's share. We want the biggest chunk of everything, of anything. He's always looking for the good of others. If you are sick, he will heal you, not demanding money. Today, what happens here? Some of us, before we pray for anybody, we want money. What about baptism? Oh, they collect money in baptizing people. They say nothing is free. But if it's true, you do see. How much did you pay for the gift of seeing, of visioning? Unless you go for that one that they used to drop something in the eye. <laughs> How many do that? There is a reward for it to those who drop something in the eye. Because if visioning is given to you freely, you must also give it out freely with love and joy. And then you'll be blessed for it. Anytime you charge for vision. <laughs> You are adept all, and you must pay. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. A visioner these days tells lies. Huh? They quarrel, they fight. After fighting, they start seeing vision. Which vision is that? Where does that vision come from? Huh? It cannot be from God. Because if that vision is from God and you quarrel, or you fight, or you even tell lies, the vision will be taken away from you instantly. But you see a vision, every time he's quarreling, he's fighting, he's abusing people, cursing people. And after cursing, he will knock his head, boo, 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 and start giving vision. Where does it come from? Because definitely it's not from Papa. Father say, when Father did not say, is it not what most of you do? Father sent me. Father did not send. And those of you who carry tales, always looking for 
another person's downfall. Somebody is not removed from office. He said the person has been removed. What is happening? Where is that light? Where is the thing that our Lord Jesus Christ taught you? Have you ever heard that our Lord Jesus Christ blackmail anybody? Huh? But here, you stay here and blackmail people. Tell lies about people. And you claim, I'm worshipping Olumba. Do Olumba teach you how to tell lies? What about those who tell lies? Are they not here? Are they not in our midst? Eh? And when you see them telling lies, you say they're doing father's work. Which father's work is that? You see, some people, they come in here and their problem still remains with them. They pray. They go on ministry work. They fast. Eh? The problem still remains. Whereas there are people, as soon as they walk in here, even without seeing the Father, without seeing anybody, their problem vanish. It's because your light is not shining. You don't believe in what our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. He is God. He is Lord. He is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is everything good that you can think of. But your own, because you don't believe, you lie, you cheat, you steal, you rob, you kill, you hate, you destroy. How can your problem leave you? Is that not why some people like assignment? Because in doing assignment, they say you don't have to confess your sin. Some people, after doing the assignment, the thing finished there. As soon as they reach home, the thing starts all over again. Whereas, if your heart were to be pure, if you were to imbibe by the law of your teachings, your problem just go like that. Because he is the author and finisher of everything. When once you have him, he says you have everything. When once you believe in him, no harm can come to you. But because our, our belief, now you believe, the next minute you don't believe. You start questioning. <laughs> so all your things comes and goes. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm sure you've heard that. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and he will remain the same forever. Amen. Why so? Because he speaks the truth. I say he speaks the truth. He does not only speak and teach. He practicalizes what he preaches. Some of you here, you just preach. You don't put it into practice. Because you say, it is difficult to do it. But you want others to do it. You must do it for yourself. For your own good. Our Lord Jesus Christ did it. The love he taught us. He demonstrated it. He loved everybody. Small old, big old, old old. He loved them all. Your own. <laughs> you discriminate. You love some people. Others, you don't have their time. And sometimes you have feel so big that you cannot even greet somebody good money. You want everybody to bow down for you and greet you. Where did you learn that from? Is that how to be great? Or is that how to be powerful? He brought us humility. He taught us humility. And he was humble himself. Eh, look at where he is today. Can anybody attend that position? He is number one in everything. And if he imbibe his ways, if he imbibe his teachings, 
put his teachings into practice, you'll be number one, too. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. How many will see a man in rags and call that man in for prayers? Eh? You always look for the well dressed because you think that well dressed man has money. After praying, the man would ask you money. Is that not what you do? Our Lord Jesus Christ did not discriminate. The poor, he prayed for them. He worked for them. He did not ask, where do you come from? Who is your parent? He never asked. But your own, you want to find out. You want to find out whether the person you are praying for is a rich man. That reminds you of somebody who was posted to a station. Upon getting there, he noticed that all the members, majority of them were granite sellers. Do you know the man came back? He abandoned the station because he said, who will give me my stipend? These granite sellers. Eh? He abandoned them. Tell me how God will bless that person. He was looking for work or God's work. You don't know whether by praying, working with those people, God will change their fortune. He merely abandoned them and came back and was looking for another station. A station where he can meet some rich people, some well-to-do people. Is that the work of God? To go and segregate, you know, and look for only the rich. Why don't you go home and pray for your mother and father? so that they can give you all the money you are looking for. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you want to be a good master, you must be a good master. If you want to be a good master, Because you don't see vision, you don't see yourself. 
Second Bible reading once again. Our second Bible reading was drawn from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 20, verse 26. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. May God bless his holy words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think you've heard that Bible portion. Huh? How many are ready to bring themselves down to the position of a servant? I think the difference is very clear. Our Lord Jesus Christ came. He humbled himself. He did not mind that he was God who can do and undo. His humility was exceptional in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you see, he told us pop and plain that he didn't come to be served. Rather, he came to save us. That is why he did not look at anybody's face. Whether you are poor, you are rich, or you go to him, he will help you. But in your own case, sometimes you look at the person's face. Where is he from? Is he a rich man? This man not be one of these poor people. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not look at all that. Whether you are poor, you are rich, or whatever is your situation, it does not concern him. But he was ready to help. To change your situation. But our own now, before you can change anybody's situation, the person will put money down. Even after putting money down, he cannot change the situation. You tell the person, oh, go, I have finished. Just go and see the father. Let the father shake your hand. After ripping the man off, taking away all his possession, he said, go and see the father. Just handshake from the father, everything will be okay. Is that not what people do? And because of that, a lot of people are stranded. He said, want to be great. He must be a servant first. He must be able to serve. And God will lift you up and bless you. I don't mean serving in the morning or and in the night. You become master. Because most people are like that. They take the position of a servant. In the night, you see them. They wear big clothes. To make them look big. This is something you do on a daily basis. Not once in a while. Every day. 
It must be of service to somebody. Not demanding anything from that person. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And by the way, is there anybody that God has given him or her license to commit sin? Anybody? I have to ask you, because some people, the way they commit this sin, is like they've been given authority by God to do it. True or false? Are those people here? They commit sin with all kinds of ignominy. They are not interested. Nobody. He wants all of us to quit sin. Because that is the problem of the world. Sin. Sin, 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 sin. That is why sometimes sins of your forefather, if time is not taken, the sin will haunt you. Abby, are you aware? That time they will say, oh, the witches of my family are the thing disturbing me. Is that not what they say? He say you must quit sin. Humble yourself before the Lord. Believe in him. Surrender to him. Be in position to help. But some of us prefer others to help us. <laughs> Especially if they make you head. You want to relax. And everybody will come and bow before you. And you give instruction. He said, if you want to be great, be a servant. Serve others with love, with joy in your heart. And he will bless you. He will make you great. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So tell me, how many are always looking for the good of others? Don't you always want good things to come to only you? And then at your good measure, maybe you can give a little to others. Whereas he said, if you have knowledge, share that knowledge to others. If you have wisdom, share that wisdom to others. If you see a foolish man, don't laugh at that foolish man. Give the person knowledge so that he will stop being foolish. But you will enjoy the other man being foolish. You laugh at the person. You jeer at the person. So you see, the work of God entails a lot of love. If you don't have love, forget it. And the love is the light we were talking about. Let your light shine. Shine and engulf everybody. Do not say this one is not from my village. He doesn't speak my language. He's not from Nigeria. He's a Canadian. All this. Like the kind of thing going on in Germany. You know, the Canadians say, and the Nigerians. They are not one who, they are playing tricks on each other. This one thinks it's better than the other one. Huh? Is that God? Is that what our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us? I mean in Germany. Because the Canadians are more than Nigerians there. Eh? Why can't we share this love? Because the more you share it, the better you are. Don't give this love to only yourself. Some people want only others to love them. They don't love others. Is it not when you love, love will also follow you. You also be love. But every time you want others to love only you, <laughs> you continue to remain in trouble. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brethren, can we get a witness here? Matthew chapter 24, verse 28. Brethren, our first witness is recorded from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 24, verse 28. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Peace. May the Lord bless his holy words. Oh, 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 
Our golden text is an extract from the gospel account of St. Matthew, chapter 23, verse 11. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. May the Lord bless his holy words. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. 
So you see, he said, the greatest amongst you will be the servant. Those who don't like to serve, you always like to take. And when you take, you don't take anything short of a lion share. Become a servant. Serve others. In the process of serving others, truthfully, honestly, with all joy in your heart, it will bless you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm sure you have that last spiritual of course. You say, where the carcass is, you see vulture there. In the same place where you practice righteousness, what do you think will happen? Holy Spirit will be right there, directing you, leading you. He will never leave you one inch in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, righteousness. Righteousness, I do follow Oh, 
Dear brethren, yes, would I ask me to a chorus? I am stepping down. A stroke of the king, they say, is enough for the wise. So, therefore, he who has here, let him or her hear what the Holy Spirit has given to us. I say, may he alone. May he alone. May he alone bless his holy words. 